All right. This is going to be an interesting story. Like, almost all of my stories are interesting, or at least I try to make them interesting. Okay, let's get into this. Uh, so, this was this recent, like, October. I think it was October, maybe November. I don't remember. No, it was probably October because it was a Halloween party, right? So... Me and my friends went over to our friend's house to go to this Halloween party, right? And it's a nice big house in a nice, uh, like, secluded neighborhood. Um, and we went, like, in our Halloween costumes. Everybody did, you know what I mean? So, so yeah, there was, like, lots of alcohol. There's also weed brownies. And the person who made the weed brownies, uh, like does that kind of stuff as like a living i think he works i i, I forget I, if i don't know if he works at a dispensary or, or what i i forget what exactly but he's like real into weed so he knows what he's doing he knows how to like make it real strong so he was like why not make it really strong for everyone to like show off like my mad skills of real potent nice weed right bad idea <laughs> so uh I went with three of my friends. One of my friends, uh, let's call her Ashley. Uh, I'm just using a different name just to protect her identity. Uh, Ashley was just, she's, she's a small girl. Uh, and she, so she's a lightweight. And she was like drinking a little bit and stuff like that. Uh, had like some jello shots, which that's a decent amount for her, you know. Uh, and then she was eating brownies, but the weed brownies weren't labeled to be weed brownies, right? So she had, I think, one or two of the brownies, uh, and then everything was fine for, like, quite a while. I think, like, an hour or so, and then, like, yeah, about, like, an hour or so later, we were, like, all chilling uh, at a table, like, all talking and, like, eating cake or whatever, uh, like, uh, in the basement. And then suddenly at one point, I look over to uh, my right. She's sitting on my right, and she – her face is, like, planted on the cake. And I'm thinking, like, what the hell? So it turns out she just got like real drowsy, high and sick, and she was throwing up and way out of it the rest of the night. But wait, there's more. So it turns out, yeah, the brownies were real, real strong. Even half of the brownie would be real strong, like real, real strong. And she wasn't the only person who got sick that night. There were more people. There wasn't one, two. There were, I, th I think it totaled in like eight other people getting sick throughout the night from it, like throwing out, uh, throwing up, uh, just like real drowsy and real, real high and just like completely out of it. They were like laying down, like throw uh, so many people throwing up. It was crazy. It was crazy. And then, and then the guy who made the weed brownie, he was like, Oh, <laughs> I guess that was a bad idea. And then like, uh, his girlfriend was like, you know what? We should just throw these out. Like nobody else <laughs> should have these. So they threw them out. Uh, but I personally think they shouldn't have thrown it out. I think they should have just like cut it up like real small and then like, uh, people could have those anytime in the future, the tiny, tiny, you know what I mean? Uh, instead of like wasting that, but whatever, uh, I'm, I'm assuming they don't care cause they got tons of that. You know what I mean? Uh, so we're in Massachusetts where it's legal shit. Um, so that was that story. Uh, moral of the story. Um, you never know if brownies that are not labeled could potentially be weed brownies if you're at like a college party or or a young crowd party i don't know like just be careful what you're eating and uh be careful with the swede if you're uh or like weed edibles in in uh in particular you know uh so that was that crazy story it was interesting uh they were like zombies that was uh, the i guess their new halloween costume so that was that all right, like and subscribe. Bye-bye.